Yo, what up? Thanks for checking out the comments video. Uh, we're just, we're gonna get started. Because, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean. Uh, Septimus Severus, 7237, up first, um, says, Live at Eggman, and drops the line. Okay, look, guys. Yeah, um, and I responded to that. Uh, the Live at Eggman version, reaction, um, I took a look at that. So that is hitting YouTube in, I guess, two and a half. Two and a half hours from the time we're recording this, so um, yeah, that'll be on the the channel very very soon. It is active on the Patreon. Uh, it's been active on the Patreon for a week, so those of you who have subbed up um, for that, thank you. You guys are amazing. And uh, for those of you who haven't and who maybe didn't know about that and maybe would not like to miss that in the future, you can go do that. That would be great. There's a link in the description to the Patreon. Uh, and. Then I guess we'll just close out this thread too. Uh, pulling this song off live shows how amazing this band is. Um, All's Kindy 4725 closing out the thread and uh, absolutely no arguments. The live, the live version is insane, guys. It's just as insane as the studio version, but more so because it they're playing they're playing it. Really, just boop, boop, hey. Fucking judge me. Get out of here. Go home. Uh, up next, Becca Noy says, uh, best rock band in the world right now. Uh, double hearts. And bandmate fan Atlanta says, strike me right now. So best rock band in the world. Boop. Boop. I don't know if I can argue that. No, uh, it does, does not seem to be arguable. Appreciate the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out, supporting the channel, watching the videos, all that stuff. Uh, Daniel Morgan, 2439, up next, says, I like the live version even better. Boop. You're not wrong, sir. You're not wrong. Uh, I Am Is Love says, great performance by a great band. Boop. No arguments. Greylock100 says, I await how you react to Matchless Gum and Unfair Game. Did I do both of those? I know I did Matchless Gum. You know, that, that one probably deserves a re-listen from me. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll do another version, uh, like we'll pick a good live version and take a look at, uh, maybe I'll do like a double reaction, uh, on that one again. I think it was a double reaction. I don't know. I don't know. It would be like six months ago at this point. So, uh, Greylock goes on to say, talk about flipping your shit. When you hear those two, you may be saying something about journeying to Mars or Venus. Boop. Appreciate the comment. Thanks for hanging out. Chris Hill, 7088, up next says, I think this is a great show to showcase everything they can do. Can you imagine if this was the first song you ever heard from them? <laughs> Boop. I mean, but you could say that about basically every song that they do. It is, it's interesting for me to think about how, because No God was the first song that I heard from them. And I did it as a double reaction. So I did No God and then I did the acoustic version of no god that was on youtube briefly um and that like colored my expectation of the band pretty heavily and it, it, it i'm not sure that i've found a song that is like it, it, it is like like this this is bandmade style which is weird to say because it very, bandmade style is very clear. It's very evident in every track that they do. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say about this right now. Um, so there you go. There you have it. Appreciate the comment. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Lawrence Cox up next says, Thank you, John, for pointing out that bandmade in passing may sound like a regular rock band, but these gals are anything but regular. Coralium is a prime example why they are my favorite combo of talented musicians that includes a genius composer. Boop! Got a lot of love on this comment. 17 thumbs up. I mean, no arguments, man. No arguments. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't. I think I don't remember, I mean, you know, you commenting before. So you might not be subscribed, but you might be subscribed. Thank you. Uh, you guys having a good day? I'm having a good day. I hope you're enjoying yourselves.
Uh, Donald Bone, 3183, up next says check out the live version. Yeah, it's done. It's on the, you know, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's scheduled. Uh, David Einjish says, I think, I usually think of the vocals as a life raft floating on the sea of the music. This time they said, screw that, we are jumping into the sea of music. You know, I agree. I agree. I get, I get the same feeling when I listen to Black Hole, that, yeah. Although, Black Hole, even, th th there are some sections where the, the vocals really do anchor, and then the rest of the chaos swirls around it. So, I don't know. But I think your perception is accurate on this one. Boop! Uh, Chris Bergston, uh, 1419, also says, Drowning, even. Not just jumping, but drowning. Well, almost. That's bandmade. That's like classic bandmade, though, is to, to get you right up to the point to where you think it's going to be too much, and then to stay there, and then to prove to you that they know what they're doing and that it's not actually too much. Shark Sarkool. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I don't know what, what like, I... The S at the end of sharks, like, just registered as a different word, so I was looking at Sarkool as its own word, trying to figure out what Sarkool was. It's not, no, it's sharks are cool, buddy. Uh, 6717 says, thank you for the reaction. The biggest reason why this track is very high on the list for me is Konami's guitar solo. Uh, I think it's one of those few times Konami purposefully makes her solo with as little melody as possible. Uh, it almost feels straightforward. Um, I like a better word to describe it, uh, as I'm not musically inclined, so that it can be complemented by the bass and the drums, which you pointed out. The, the bass during her guitar solo is the most tasteful bass I have ever heard in my life, specifically because of the music context it was in. So good. Well, I appreciate the comment. Let's see, what did you say purposefully makes with as little melody as possible? So... Hmm. Let me recall that. Okay, so yeah, I think I see what you mean when, when you say it feels straightforward. I would say it feels conventional. That's the word that I would use for it. Um, I, I think it has just enough tricks in there to be to, to catch you off guard a little bit. Um, but it's still like, uh, as compared to, um, I don't know, from now on comes to mind, I, I think the, the guitar solo in that um, always felt a little bit unconventional to me. Um, and it's, it, like, that's one of my favorite tracks of all time. Like, it, it, so, I, 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 it compare, like, comparing the two, I see what you mean. Um, like, straightforward, uh, but it's, like, it's, like, in the pocket, I think, right? Um, the, the solo in Corallium is, is in more, a lot more in the pocket than really anything else that, that's going on in the rest of the track, and, and I think that's by design, which, I mean, you deduced as well, so good on you. Uh, Falcon Sooner, um, uh, replies, says, I was going to make the same comment, but you said it better than I could have. One of my favorite solo sections because of the interplay between Konami Misa and Akane. It's, look, man, it, it's a marvel. You know, it, it, it's a jewel of a, of a, of a section. A amongst, it's a jewel amongst jewels, amongst jewels, is band made. Uh, Lonnie Krimlich, 6241, says, I love this song. Woo. Boop. No arguments. Same here. It's so groovy. It's so much fun. Uh, Alan Stamper, 4345, says, if you want to hear it kind of go crazy on a Konami solo, then uh, you need to listen to Hate from the Unleash EP. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Uh, the recorded version, though, their live version is more than exceptional also. Oh, the, the, the recorded version, though, their live version is more than exceptional also. Boop. Appreciate the comment. Maybe it sounds like a double reaction. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, S tier, masterwork. Uh, sorry, this is from The Germ. Uh, S tier, masterwork, masterpiece, turbo banger, whatever you want to call it, Corallium definitely belongs on Akane. I'm a former drummer, and I found the maids I... I'm a, I'm a former drummer, and when I found the maids, I had never heard anyone play like her. 
Then I started listening to and loving other Japanese or international bands. I still, I, I have still not heard anyone play like her. She's in a class by herself. Thanks, John. Boop. Appreciate the comment, buddy. I couldn't agree more with you. I want to say that there are other drummers like her. She's just the most ref like I want to find a way to make her like other drummers. Um, but I don't think it I don't think you can because she I would say that she actually does have a conventional approach to her drumming though, and that's probably why I, I get the sense that I want to put her in the same class as other um, as other drummers. But I don't know about that. I don't think I know enough about her body of work yet. I mean I mean it crazy to say, I guess, at this point. It's been over a year, but that's how I feel about it. Uh, Jeff B5 says, uh, first black hole, then Corallium. Where will they take this uh, idea next? Perhaps we will find out this summer with the new album. Oh, God, I'm excited. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited for the new album, y'all. Maybe we'll do a launch party or something. That sounds like fun. No promises, though. Uh, Wayne Benedict 5785 says, this is fire for sure. Uh, you need to check out Hibana from the same EP. Boop. Cool. It's on the radar. Uh, Gunga Din, yet another <laughs> shouting narcissist. <laughs> he nailed me a little bit. <sighs> Family deserves better. Appreciate the comment. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. <laughs> uh, and yet he said that. Hmm. It takes one to know one, I guess. Uh, Wayne <laughs> Wayne Delin, uh, ninety six fifty five replies. Not cool. I'm not sure what it means. I, you don't think the comment was very cool, or you don't think uh, I, another shouting <laughs> narcissist. Can that just be my tagline for the channel? Just sh <laughs> The shouting narcissist. It's amusing. Uh, Jim S. up next says, uh, in quotes, Mies, calm the fuck down, said the pot to the kettle. <laughs> I know, I was aware of the irony. Uh, if you continue to scream like a lunatic, I suggest balancing your video and mic uh, to the same levels. And here's what I normally do. I normally do. Uh, this one got away from me. I'm not sure what happened. Um, and I spent... I actually went back and forth as to whether or not to even release it because of that. Because it just like was not up to my standards. Um, but... <clears throat> no excuses. So, I... Yeah, I did what I could with the audio in, um, in post, but that it ended up being what it was. So, uh, he goes on to say, as we listeners have to turn up the volume to hear the video because it's low since your level is, yes, my level is quiet. And when you spaz out, uh, spaz out, then our cats claw our skin as they run out <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Our ears hurt. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, and we have to turn down the volume so as not to go deaf. Uh, or <laughs> glass breaks. <laughs> then it turns back up when the music starts and repeat through. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm aware of the issue. Balance levels will hopefully help cure this despite what YouTube recommends. Uh, much appreciated if you take heed. Oh, yeah? Think of your poor, deaf, and sleepless child. <laughs> Boop. Appreciate the comment. I'll give you a heart for that one. Um, yeah, no, you're you're not wrong. So, valid all the way through on the criticism there. Uh, and I'm aware of it. And ho hopefully, uh, the, the audio in the live version is definitely better. So, you know, that drops in a couple of hours. Uh... Falcon Suter says, Masterpiece. Uh, one of my favorite parts is the call and response between Psyche's vocals and Konami's guitar. I love how Konami mimics Psyche's vocal melody. Boop. Appreciate the comment. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, 
Firebonzo7942 says uh, this three song mini EP containing Sense, Hibana, and Coralium uh, is probably pretty hard to beat, even for Bandmade. Boop! Uh, Sense was good too. Hibana is the only one I haven't heard off that, so maybe we'll take a look at that and we'll do like a trifecta something. I don't know. Uh, Steve Kane, 4922, up next, says, Search Bandmade Coralium live at the ES for a stunning, well-played, and recorded live version. Boop! Already did, already done, soon to be on the channel, if not already. Uh, he also says, rewards careful listening. Boop! In quotes. Did I say that? I don't remember. I just say shit, guys. Garb Gabor Burks 40, uh, 468 says, if you want the same complex songs, I'll still sick revenge. Why, why, why hate highly recommend it from Lollapalooza festival last year. I guess appreciate the comment. Boop. Not 100% sure what you meant, but uh, hate has already been requested, so I'm going to assume that that's what you mean. Days Yeah 2695 says, So true. They sound uh, like a nice rock band on the surface, but deeper. But the deeper you dig, the, the closer you listen, the more they bring. They are outstanding, and since finding Bandmade, Nemophila... Uh, Hanabie and Unlucky Morpheus. My whole playlists have been reworked to a basically to a basically exclusive to be basically exclusive to these bands. Uh, one of my all-time favorite bandmate songs, though. Sure, I have personal not so hot songs, but even they are fine in their own right. They brought fresh air and joy to my life. Boop. Appreciate the comment and every band you listed here. Is out of fucking control. Every single band, they're out of fucking control. All of them are amazing. Boop. Appreciate the comment. Uh, Wenga Boy 100 says, "I'll." Is that a reference? Should I get that? I don't get it. Is that another of their songs? Are you recommending a song? I don't get it. Uh, Graham Reed 8774 said, if I had to attempt a genre for this, trying to keep it simple, forgive me. Thrash Funk Metal. Hmm. Will that do? That's still probably not enough. Hey, it's not quite. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't sure about this three track single when it came out, but now, uh, I, I guess, but now I love it. Uh, it only took two years and I like, and I like many genres of rock. But it took that long to process in my brain. Genius, genius, genius. Boop. That's right. Who was it that said genius is hitting a target that nobody else can see? That's what Bandmade is. Genius. Uh, Kyle5513 says Bandmade is a master at riffs. You should check out King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. 25 albums in 10 years. Hmm. Boop. Appreciate the comment. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. With a name like that, it's hard to ignore. All right. Uh, Rome Ramat up next says, actually the solution to this song fragmenting your soul is really simple. Listen to the song six times at least, each time concentrating on a different instrument or the vocals. Guess you can listen a few more times after that to see how all those elements combined. At that point, you can proceed to fragment, I guess refragment your soul. Boop. Very true. Uh, it's hard to do, but you're not wrong. That's probably what needs to happen. Uh, appreciate the comment, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Fatty Dumps <laughs> up next says, uh, Totally felt you here. Uh, this also happens to be one of my all-time favorite bandmate tracks. Coincidence? Fuck. No. Boop. Appreciate the comment. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and finally, closing things out on this video, uh, Jeff's on... Jeff Jefferson Cosgrove 1910 says I love how the first thought when the vocals come in is sweet ballad before getting a good st yeah no the, they really tried to lead you in in a in the one direction before slapping you over the back of the head like mm -mm. nonsense appreciate the comment buddy thanks for watching the video um
And thanks everybody to watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to support me further because you know most of my content can't be monetized because I use other people's copyrighted content, there uh, is a link in the description to the Patreon so you can head over there and support me that way. Uh, super thanks are active on the channel if you want to drop one of those on this video because you like these comment videos um, and you want to show your support that way, please feel free to do so. Um, other than that, stay tuned. Uh, like I said, at the time of recording this, we got about two hours before the live at Eggman reaction drops, so um, that'll be fun. And the audio levels for that one are much better, so uh, I appreciate you, you sticking it out with me. I'm going to get out of here. You'll enjoy the rest of your day.